Thank you both for joining. I'm super excited to talk with you both, um, especially after I think crying for the entire length of the film when I watched it. <laughs> um, it the film itself is a beautiful examination of your father's life uh, and impacts with a cornerstone of arguably unrivaled hope, both from Christopher and Dana, uh, but also from you both uh, and Will as well. And, and Will just this morning was, you know, in North Carolina covering uh, the aftermath of the hurricane and seeing how people are coming together to rebuild community um, and also rebuild their spirits. And I guess my question for both of you is for those who watch this film and are struck as I was by your family's tenacious practice of hope, where does that come from and how do you maintain that hope? It's such a beautiful question. I mean, I think for us, you know, dad always said, you play the hand you're dealt. Um, and he thought the game was worthwhile. And really, what's interesting about our family, and I think many others will relate to this as well, is that we often found hope and resilience just by being there for one another. Our dad once said after the accident that the thing him, kept him going was Dana reminding him that he was still the same person and that she loved him. And he realized that he needed to be there for her and he needed to be there and stick around for us. For all of us, we were getting through thinking, well, we need to be strong and we need to stick around for him. So what you get is kind of this house of cards where you find strength by the fact that everybody's leaning in to hold up the other. Uh, and that was just very much their way of life and how we were raised from the beginning. That's excellent. Matthew, anything to add to that? <laughs> no, I, 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 mean, I, I don't know how I could add to anything um, <laughs> so well, well put. Um, uh, yeah. No, no, that, 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 I wrote that. That's just, yeah. <laughs> she's just reading your words. <laughs> uh, I, I, I remember at that moment where Dana does remind your father of, uh, that he's still himself. I think that was sort of the, the breaking point for me in the film where it just became an emotional whirlwind after that. Um, much is said about your father's legacy, not only as an actor and for, of course, bringing Superman to screen, but also as an inspiration and advocate following his accident. To each of you individually, and Matthew, I guess let's start with you here. As his children, what is the legacy of Christopher Reeve? Oh, I mean, I feel I have to say it's legacies plural. I don't know if I can pinpoint it down to one for myself. I mean, it's, I think, certainly his work after the accident and becoming this voice for the disabled community and all the advocacy work that he did. And he, I mean, it is sort of real change and inspired, you know, the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. I mean, sort of, and not just people living with disability or a spinal cord injury. Um, and and through and that continues through the work of the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation and everyone who is a part of the community and as supporters of the foundation, people who work for the foundation and have given their lives and careers to the foundation to help continue that cause and 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 advance the mission. Um, and then there's his on-screen legacy, you know, through his film work, of course. Um, and then there's his personal legacy, the one that we remember is, um, as his kids and the times, you know, that it was, I know we were, you know, on a boat in foggy weather in the Chesapeake or, you know, flying in his little airplane or watching him horse ride or playing a family soccer game in, in, on the front lawn. Um, you know, those are little pieces of memories that sort of shape um, the legacy of who he was to us. Um, and of course, that fits into a, a wider legacy, legacy or legacies, plural. Very nice. How about you, Alexandra? It's kind of been a, a gift from this film to see how many people are connecting with his story. So we knew some of the pieces before, of course. I mean, he's our dad. We're incredibly proud of him. Um, and we see the ongoing work of the Refoundation to this day, $145 million to spinal cord injury and uh, this deep community of people who support each other. But what's been surprising to me about this film is the number of people that are coming up and just deeply connecting to the story because they've experienced loss themselves. They've had to be there for a partner. You know, they've navigated a big change in their life. It doesn't have to be the unique circumstances of a high level spinal cord injury um, for people to know and understand what it is to go through hardship in life and to stick with your family and your friends regardless and keep persevering. And to the extent that that's his legacy, what a gift, right? If people see this story and they feel hope, they feel inspired, and they get reminded about their own resilience, that's that's a success, and that, that means a lot to us. 
I have to say, I've been talking about this movie since I saw it a few weeks ago, and the number of people that I talk to who immediately recall your father and talk about his his life, his impact, his films, and he, not only Superman, but other films that he was in as well. Um, it's really remarkable, and it's exciting to me now that uh, it's going to have a wider release for more people to see it. But on that note, you've all shared that there's been uh, interest in telling your dad's story for quite a while, uh, and that this felt like the right time and the right project now with you know many more getting the opportunity to uh, to see the film, what do you hope that people take away from it? Um, I hope they come away with a, uh, a greater understanding of who he was, the, the whole 360-degree view of, of Christopher Reeve and the things that he could do before the accident, his hobbies, you know, flying, playing the piano, speaking French, <laughs> right, you know, scuba diving, whatever it is. And then... Um, as well as sort of understanding the the personal transformation that he went through and that they can, you know, everyone too has this sort of strength and power within them that they can harness and access. Um, and yeah, he also, you know, as I said at the beginning, I think it was this interview, <laughs> sorry, it's a couple of these, where he says, you know, you play the hand you're dealt and if you think the game's worthwhile and, and he thought the game was worthwhile. So I hope people start to think about what makes the game worthwhile to them. Who are those people? What are those things that would sustain them in overwhelming adversity? Absolutely. And I will say, given your audience in particular, the early Superman stuff is really fun. And this film, you know, they go through <laughs> this whole montage about the other people that wanted to play the role of Superman. They have amazing footage from the early audition tapes where our dad is like as skinny as it comes, <laughs> has these massive sweat stains on his suit. And literally shoe polish on his hair to make it look black, like the comic book uh, version of, uh, of the character. And just, you know, really fun and amazing footage of this set, um, you know, and it's so it's cool to revisit that time period too, to think about the dynamics of a film crew in the mid 1970s, thinking how to make the world believe a man can fly and actually having to figure that out together on yeah. set in real time. Um, that's a really fun part of the film as well. And I think this film definitely speaks to not only the Superman fan who may go see the film for, you know, the Superman history there, um, but I think even those individuals who may not be expecting the full story are going to be touched by the messaging of the film and really just the the full life that um, that your parents lived. And uh, it, was, it was absolutely an incredible film. I wish you the best in promoting it, and I hope that uh, I'm really excited that it's getting a wider release and that most that more people are going to be able to experience um uh, the, the turbulence of the film, in a sense, the emotional turbulence, mm -hmm. um, but how you walk out of it feeling better for having seen it. And so I thank you for, you know, uh, contributing to the project uh, and helping bring it to fruition. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Absolutely.